Welcome to another Tiny Escapes Artist Adventure, where I take tiny escapes that don't break the budget or break up the marriage. I explore restorative health practices, eat a mostly plant-based diet, and I create craft on the go. In this episode, I check out a caravan that is also a boat. I take a train, a ferry, and finally a bus all the way to the beach. We're caught in a little bit of a dilemma because we don't know what kind of caravan to buy. I want a van so that I could do some stealth camping, but my husband wants an RV or similar to what we've already got. But there are so many places they can't go and I would really like see us get something where we can actually go in different places. I'm headed to an industrial port area near Lemon Tree Passage in New South Wales to explore an exciting alternative to a van or caravan. This is a different adventure. I'm on my way to take a look at... In 300 meters, turn left onto Quigley Road my way to turn left. I'm just going to see this boat caravan. I haven't convinced my husband that this is a good idea and I need to step inside one myself. So my husband thinks that it's because it's a boat and a caravan it's not going to be very good as a boat and it's not going to be very good as a caravan. What do you say to that? I'd say he's correct. They're not good. They are exceptional in both. <laughs> now, reason being, we designed it because we're boat builders, so mm -hmm. we designed it as a trailable houseboat, and the marine thing came came first. And we mm -hmm. said, right now, it's got to be people over fifties have got dicky knees, dicky mm. hips. It's got to have minimal steps to get mm. on. We know people will take them out in choppy conditions, so we did not put a door at the front. So when you get your spray over the front, there's no leaks or anything like that. The people that use them in caravan mode, and there's a lot of them, Bruce and Linda are out there doing it now, they are fantastic in van mode at a caravan park. The only difference is you hop on from the back, not the side as you do in a mm -hmm. caravan. Mm -hmm. It is nice and roomy, but it's it's not too big because it's got to go on the road. 115 litres. Gee, that's big. Petra Frigga, and it's still got your little ice cube oh, tray yes. up the yep, top, yep. which is a bit of a must for the gin and tonics. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. You've, you've just won my husband, gin and tonics. <laughs> So that's just the standard toilet that you'd have in a caravan with a yep. 20 litre cassette. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite a big space. The table okay. moves around, you can do what oh, you want with beautiful. it. Oh, so beautiful, look at that. So if you're on your computer, you can pull it up. If you're yeah. just having coffee or you're having a card night, your friends can use the opposing seating, which is a fantastic yeah, idea. Yeah, look at or that. Or you want to take it out the back mm. or down to the beach, all good. If you've never heard of a caraboat and like being shown exciting retirement possibilities, Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get notified each time I post a new video. Subscribing is free, and it tells YouTube that my videos are worth being suggested to other viewers. Then a train trip from Newcastle to Sydney. once again over water, which it seems that I'm drawn to at the moment. I think I've worked out why I get so excited when I'm all by myself. I think it's because I am such a people person, so I'm always busy taking care of lots of people in my life and you know making sure that I show up and um, do things for people and I care about people in my family and you know, and I and I love doing that. That's I can't even help myself. That's what I want to do. But on the other hand, when I'm alone in the car, there's just something about I'm completely on my own, and I don't have to please anybody but me. Honestly, I don't know what it is about me in new places. But I, it's cold and it's wet and it's windy, and I'm still loving it. Just gotta love new places.
so neighborhoods are not dead. They still do exist. The other kids have gone in the house. Oh! <laughs> She's doing a, an evil Knievel here. <laughs> Whoa, pretty wild. Pretty wild. Go, girlfriend. Honestly, there was another kid out there before, but not just an adult. Whoa! Sometimes your neighborhood is at the beach. Ten minutes walk from where we were hanging out with our charges for the weekend and lots of their friends. I'll leave a link below to my last video where I compare caravan parks to the neighborhoods of my childhood. Am I getting a caraboat? Well, stay posted. At the moment, there's a 12-month wait, so I'll keep you posted. Cross your fingers for me, everyone. <laughs>